January was a great year. Now that we've made it to February, our 28th week start, I want to dedicate almost all of my content to supporting local black businesses, black owners, black makeup brands, black clothing, black everything I need. Because like Issa Rae said, we are rooting for everybody black. So I figured I'd kick off the month starting with Black Opal Cosmetics. And I don't know if you guys have seen their commercials, but they are totally revamping, rebranding. Before we move any further, this is Black History Month. I need you to root for me. Root for your girl and press that subscribe button. Just press it. And then right next to it is the notification button. And then we Gucci. Love you. Thank you. So I'll be reviewing the Black Opal True Color Skin Perfecting Stick Foundation. And this is what we are looking like. It is very sleek and high end, honey. This is millennial drugstore makeup because the Black Opal that I remember ain't look like this. We like that. We like that. It is said to blur poor appearance, conceal imperfections. So we like that. And achieve natural looking skin with this cream stick foundation. Perfect for highlighting. We like that. Contouring. You know what, like that. Touch ups and seamless full color coverage applications. This is the best selling formula that delivers moisturized, even toned, flawless complexion. Velvet and matte finish for all skin types. So I would say that I have normal skin. I can get a little bit oily depending on the weather here in New York, but it's really dry. So in the winter, I'm pretty normal. And then I'm like normal to combination in the summer. So I went online and purchased five shades at $9.95 just because I wanted to really give you guys a few swatches and see what really worked for me and I think the price was pretty darn good. So what I will be doing is applying the foundation on camera for you guys and then I'm going to come back later with a little bit of a wear test and let you know how it held up. I have an extremely long day. I don't know how I'm going to do the things that I got to do today. I don't know how this makeup is going to handle it. But I really don't have time to redo my face or to retouch my face. So I'm going to bring some blotting powder and we'll see how this goes. I did purchase their Invisible Oil Blacking Gel Primer because I did hear that this foundation does get a little bit oily. So I figured why not purchase the company's primer because I feel like they know what works best with their foundation formula. I mean I would have used what I normally use but I figured let me just be safe and use all black opal you know. And I also purchased their True Color Soft Velvet Finishing Powder, and this is in the shade Neutral Lay. And I'm gonna use this basically to bake, honey. So let's get into this watches. So I got the shade Heavenly Honey, Rich Caramel, Nutmeg. Oh, Nutmeg. I got two Nutmegs. I didn't mean to get two Nutmegs. And Corot. When you open up the foundation, it's pretty wide. You guys can see the width of it, and this is how much comes inside the tube. Right off the back, I don't know which color really will go well. I feel like I'm gonna be in between these two shades. I'm gonna go with the Invisible Oil Blocking Primer. This feels really good on the skin. It's almost like velvet. Wow, my skin feels like silk, guys. I'm gonna swatch Rich Caramel, Heavenly Honey, and Nutmeg on my chin to figure out which one works best. That will definitely be a highlight shade. Why did I just swatch the same foundation stick? I'm so beans. So this is nutmeg right here, and that looks pretty good. It's a little bit on the red side. I usually like more yellow-based foundations, but I can make that work. I'm over here really swatching the same thing, like, nope, not gonna work, not gonna work. Hilarious. This is so affordable, I love this product. Definitely works. You can get it from your beauty supply store, or you can order online. I'm just gonna blend out those harsh lines. Okay, this goes on like my Bobbi Brown. It's pretty creamy. It's not giving me any pull, it's not like dragging. I think there was a shade I was supposed to get in between nutmeg and I accidentally ordered two nutmegs, but it's okay. I'm gonna just take a little bit of that rich caramel to kind of break up a little bit of that orange. I'm gonna use this angled kabuki foundation brush from Shani and I got this on eBay or Amazon or something and just blend that out and see how this goes. Wow, I'm really not mad at this. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I mean for like you to have two shades of a drugstore foundation is not abnormal. So I feel like that's really, really nice. What you guys think? I think this is looking pretty good. You're looking blended. Oh, oh, you know, if you're looking at the chesticles and you're looking at the face, she's all right. But I mean, you might think somebody's kidnapping me, but hey, we ain't perfect over here. So now I'm gonna take Heavenly Honey and use this to highlight. You guys know I love to use foundation to do my highlighting contour to save me some time, some coin. 
But that's what I plan on doing with this, so let's go. I just love how wide the applicator is. Like, it literally takes nothing to cover an entire area. I have to make sure like that I don't spread it too wide. I love that. We doing that because we got the whole face out today. So we gotta, we gotta bring it in, you know? This is what my friend does. Like, what is wrong with her? Why are you smacking yourself? <laughs> you are. I'm talking to her video. Smacking the hell out of her skull. So I think I'm gonna have to go in with a brush just to blend this out if I were to use it as a concealer. It's definitely like not moving. But yeah, it's not moving at all. Like I feel like I almost need to wet the product a little. But never fear, we got them hands this year. We gonna blend this out. Woo, that is some work. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with Carob and this is gonna be my contour shade. So I'm gonna use a little bit of product because I don't got time to be blending for days today. But I'm not mad at this shade actually. It's nice. So what I'm gonna do is take my Fix Plus and spray. Oh, see, yeah, with the Fix Plus, it blends out really fast. And when I don't have my wigs on, I like to just bring the color down the neck just because it kind of just gives you like a two-faced look when like your face looks one way when someone's looking at you dead on and then your neck is just like a different color. You really want to bring that color behind the ear. I'm gonna use the soft velvet finishing powder and I'm gonna set my face. So let's hope there's no flashback. This is a serious powder, guys. So I have to wear this face to two meetings and dinner today. So this is this is a real test, guys. This is a real test. This is not like a fluffy. I'm just running to the supermarket. We're gonna see how it goes. This is a real long wear test. I am trusting you, Black Opal. I'm, I am, I'm trusting you with my face. I'm trusting you with my selfies today. So I'm gonna finish up and come back and show you guys the finish look. Okay, okay, okay. Just let me know in the comments below if you like this. I mean, I feel like my face looks flawless. It looks really good. I mean, I was nervous about the color at first, but honey, she's feeling cute and snatched and contoured life. <laughs> you see those cheekbones? Oh, I'm gonna leave my face like this all day. <laughs> I don't know where this night's gonna take me, but I will bring my camera with me. So if I need to sneak a little bathroom shot to show you guys what the tea is, I will um, just expect the outro not to be as cute and well lit because I don't, I don't know where your girl gonna be at. I'm gonna come back later, show you guys what this face is looking like, and I'll give you my final thoughts on this foundation. Bye. Hey y'all, so I just got back. It is almost 9 p.m., so that is six hours of wear. So, um, as you can see, the face still looks pretty good. Starting to get a little shiny here, but it's like not as shiny that I would normally have. I mean, if I was wearing anything, my nose would be just a little shiny. That's just what happens. So I haven't blotted, I haven't done anything to the face. It looks pretty good. The only complaint that I have, I have makeup all over my jacket. Let me show you guys how I was wearing it because it was cold. It's cold. But I had it like this. You know what I mean? So, I guess it's like... It isn't transfer proof. I don't think any product is for sure transfer proof. So far, I like it. I mean, I got compliments of the pizzeria. The color did me justice. It makes me look really warm. It's not too far off from what I normally would be wearing. And I feel like I, I realized I just had the hood on for dumb long. But yeah, the only thing that needs to be retouched on my face is my lipstick because the skin is still good. The skin is still sitting. I look like I just did my makeup. I honestly am always prone to creasing like right here under the eye. Let me zoom in. I always crease right here under the eye and I really have no creasing. My face feels really matte and I'm really not upset guys. So I'm gonna turn off the ring light so you guys can get a good look at the skin. Dang, that's really dark. This looks way better, okay. So this is my face in my living room. The light is like way better in here. Looking good, right? Looking like skin. Mm -hmm. This definitely could sneak its way into my little vanity, guys. So, thank you so much for watching. Benji. My socks are like halfway off. 
You just want to be in the video so bad. Thank you for watching this video. Please stay tuned because the next video is going to be an all black owned clothing, accessory, and shoe haul. Well, is it shoes? I had a hard time finding shoes, but I think I got shoes. If you guys have any other ideas for Black History Month, any type of hauls or videos you want me to do, let me know in the comments below your favorite brands, your favorite black owned brands. Give thumbs this video up, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Go black, open, and go black, open, and go black, open.